Good morning, you see, ladies and germs. Now, uh, re real, 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 real quickie today, uh, because I have somewhere to be very, very soon. So, this is, so what you see is what you get. But I have an important story to tell you, I like to think. Okay, so what we have got, as you can see, is an Elevation guitar. I think these came from Argos. They're made in China. And they are the most budget, budget, budget instruments that, that one could possibly find. So, before I tell you about it, we'll just have a quick listen through to the pickups, and so that you've got some kind of idea. So that's us on the uh, bridge uh, or treble pickup here. Moving to the position between the bridge and the centre. <laughs> All working, all good. Um, that's in the middle, and now between the centre and the neck. And on to the neck position. And the vibrato works absolutely fine, and that is it as far as playing a tune goes. Now, what I do want to tell you particularly is this. This guitar plays absolutely fine. And I had a, I had a bit of a relationship with it last night uh, to get the action to this point. So I was very interested, very interested by way, almost by way of an experiment really, but I was very interested to see uh, exactly how good or how bad a, the most budget of budget guitars would be. I think that these came out as a bit of a package from Argos, I don't know, probably five or ten years ago, and you used to get an amp and a strap and a lead and you know a few picks and probably a book or something like that. And when this was handed over to me to have a look at, the action, let me tell you, the action looked like it had been, uh, honestly, 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 looked like it had been set by somebody sticking their hand in and just hoping for the best. So I had a look on eBay to look for other examples of this guitar, and I did find one that uh, show, that actually did show a shot of the action, and it, and it really was, you could, you could probably realistically put your thumb inside here. And I'm just hoping that there's some new people to the world of guitars who are watching this because this is a just a little word of advice. I was going to say warning, caveat emptor, but uh, we'll stick with advice. So, um, unless you're prepared to spend a few quid down at your local guitar technician to have one of these fellas straightened out, then I, I would give them a miss. Because the number one reason for people starting to learn guitar and giving it up is uh, that the instrument that they've bought is unplayable. And th this instrument, as it came to me, was unplayable. You could probably manage a few cowboy chords down here. I mean, there are further things that I could do to improve this, but how much time do you spend on, you know, a sort of 60 quid guitar? Uh, so what have we got? Well, it does have a truss rod of sorts, although I'm not the first human that's been in there, and so I did manage to get the neck to an acceptable straightness. Uh, the And this is where they save money. They save money on the fit and finish. The neck wasn't lined up correctly, the frets looked like the wibbly wobbly road, and it, and it was, it, and it what, the electrics are fine, uh, but they will come obviously made up on a scratch plate and just dumped straight in. Um, so, yes, what have we got? We've got a neck that's made of something, I don't know. I, it's probably maple, I suppose. At least the body is solid wood and it weighs in quite nicely. But go for go for something that you 
that, that you can either try in a shop or something where you've seen it played or at least you've seen the string height and if you're unsure you're bound to have a friend somewhere who knows so get some advice get a second opinion but just because a guitar's cheap well a cheap guitar can turn out to be an expensive guitar if you have to have work done to it so unless you really really know what you're doing I would not advise buying just the cheapest thing from one of the uh, retail big retail outlets um, in a box unseen uh, because you're almost certain to be disappointed and that, you know well it, so this is where they save the money just by banging them together as quickly as pop possible with no fit and finish um, like I said this one I've got to muck, muck about with this and it's, it's absolutely fine but if you got this straight out of a box you would wonder why you were so bad at playing a guitar and it would be the guitar that would be at fault not you so that's it I think from me tonight you know seal tuners the tremolo arm works absolutely fine this isn't the original one to it this is off a different guitar because it didn't have one and uh, that my friend is it so don't buy him from a box don't buy the cheapest one have a look round back you're better off buying a second hand one that somebody can give you some reasonable indication that it plays fairly well. And that is it from me because I've got to go. So it's adios amigos and ta-ra.